Hi everyone, um, I'm Graham from Fantastic Farms and today I just want to show you how our little electric fence unit works. This is our new solar powered electric fence energizer uh, we use all around our little property here. As you can see I've just put up a temporary fence around our water tank just to do some grazing. Um, so there's only a couple of basic things you need to know. One is, the most important thing in the whole electric fence industry is the earthing peg. Now we use a 10 or 12 millimeter galvanized steel rod. Um, it can be a, a steel reinforcing rod or a plain rod, but it um, needs to be maybe 3 8 of, of an inch or larger, or 10 or 12 millimeter larger. And the length needs to be 1 meter or more, probably 1 to 1 and a quarter meters long. And hammer it deep into the ground with a decent sort of a hammer. And um, I've got a hole drilled in the top of my piece of steel here. I've got a bolt there. I just want to show a close up. Okay. Electric fence unit here comes with two wires. There's a handle on the top for lifting, carrying around. This is a, this is a total waterproof unit, so you can actually leave it in the sun and the rain all the time, all year round. It won't hurt it. It's made to be outside. On the top we have a small solar panel and you just face it according to whether it's summer or winter and it's got little notches that just locks in. On the front you have two terminals, a red terminal and a black terminal. black terminal has got earth or ground written on it and you connect the black earth wire that comes with it. It's got a little eye on the end and that connects to that terminal there. And then the red terminal is for the live wire. So what we can show you quickly. Back onto ground. Red onto the fence. Two wires. Our black wire we put on the bolt goes on the earth or the ground. The red has a clip on the end to make it easy for you. And we like to use this tape but you can use steel wire or anything else to make electric fence. And that clips on there. And one uh, thing I like to do, as I said the grounding is the most important part. So just use some general purpose grease and just on your finger just smear it all over the earth connection so that it doesn't get a bad connection there. It's just a little trick here to do. Now on the front, you've got an on-off switch. Now, if for some reason your sun doesn't come out and shine for three days, there's not a problem. The battery in the unit is a uh, rechargeable motorcycle battery and it'll actually last up to three days on its own without being recharged. But when you first get the charger, the battery just needs to be topped up, so just leave it in the sunshine for a day or so to charge up fully before you connect it to your fence. And this particular unit will do up to a three kilometre fence line. So what that means is it will do a wire three kilometres long. So if you have one wire it will do three kilometres. If you, I've got two wires here as you can see. So two wires that will give me one and a half kilometres because I'm using two wires. So we just use it for strip grazing for sheep, goats, uh, horses, uh, cattle, anything like that is fine. And what we do with our, our fence unit we give you little operating instructions that belongs with the energizer and we give you a full how to build and install temporary electric fence powered by solar energizer. This is a booklet we've done with all of our our work here on the on the farm. It's got pictures and everything that we've done. So that's a really good benefit. It's a very good little booklet. And that's about it. It's a pretty simple thing to use. We give you 12 months warranty on this. We send them all over the world. The uh, sun voltage is the same everywhere in the world, so it doesn't matter where we send it. And if you have any questions, you can always contact us.